to the typewriter desk. Should really need to see what brand of typewriter it is. First game or now, we must have. But if so, I've long since forgotten. So I'm going to assume... Remington. Not a sponsor? Fish. As both Saga and Alan cleaned up our last couple of collectibles, the ones we have access to, as far as I know, and we are prepared to step, step, set foot in the sheriff station. We can step foot in the sheriff station too, I guess. It's just not common. I have to learn some steps first. All right, just around the block then. I am so glad to be immersed in the world of Bright Falls with you. It sounds like my microphone is still catching up, as it is quite quiet. But that's fine, I'll continue to I'll whisper at dokey. you saucily. I don't like the sounds coming from the station. a thing. Where does that go on the big board inside my mind? Hmm? There. Interesting. There could be other little bits of lore scattered around like that want to miss them, but it seems I've done exactly that. I've missed several bits of lore on this particular board. Who is involved? Am I missing there? Perhaps a bit of information on dear Vladimir. And due to the positioning of that one, I probably missed it very, very early on. Perhaps in watery. At some point. For another playthrough, I'm sure. I'll have to find all of that. Make sure I'm not missing a thing. Until then. Into the sheriff's station. How long have I been waiting? My body is ready. But my lips are not. Power's out. Always a good sign. The station has been attacked. I see that. Anyone here? I'm here. In the closet. Bloody Agent footprints. Estevez? Hey. Is that you? Anderson? Did I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. <sighs> Looks like. <laughs> My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, right. there is a person we'll out a there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't... Taken. Yeah, I'll handle it. You okay? You, wh what can I do for your leg? We sort of got detoured there. Do you need gauze? I, I think you need gauze. I'm gonna go find some. Here, here's an American flag. Is it disrespectful to stuff that into your open wound? As a federal agent? Both of us? As federal agents, I think it's okay. I'm going to close this door, just in case. Who's out here with me? Make sure I'm... There's Taken inside. All reloaded. All right. I know one of you is stealing the toilet paper, you rat bastard. I've been counting them. And there's an entire stock... There's an entire roll missing. Every day from stock, I got ahead of myself. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. When you say the colloquialism Pete's sake, do you capitalize Pete? I mean, it is a name, but I always thought 
as a phrase. It was just for Pete's sake. I wonder who Pete is. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed. Why is the toilet paper red? And you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are, you rat bastard. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? It sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. Maybe I do. But it's better than my hands being red after I've used the toilet paper. In my opinion. Nope. Not going in there. The blinds are disheveled. Hold That's themselves. a clear sign of evil. Is that where they're keeping wake? I want to I wanna go down and Door is locked, though. Oh, we know that's not where they're keeping wake. Um, this plant. I would like it for my office. Estevez? Want me to shove this plant into your open wound? No? I thought it was a good idea. Mm, batteries. God, I've missed you. God, how I've missed batteries. Trap. I'm good. I'm good, thanks. You're welcome to that that wing of the sheriff's station. That's yours now. You enjoy. I'm gonna flank the crap out of whoever's in there. Right after I find all my goodies. For sale, a coffee cup mascot costume. Somewhere in tear. Fifty dollars. Sounds like a frickin' steal to me. Tell me, does it include underoos? I guess I can hold on to that crossbow bolt for now, though I... With no way of using it, it's bound for the shoebox. Alright, we can't avoid it anymore. I'm coming in. Oh, you're a big fella, aren't you? God, big dreams. Right in the neck. Oh, I'm glad you turned around, because I was not... I was not ready with my dodging. Anybody else want some? Just a taste? How can you be so big with so many easily visible pockets and yet have dropped nothing? You tell me that. You tell me that, flayed corpse. Sicken me with your sting. The stank of sting all over you. All right, well, that was fun. I'm a little low on hunting rifle shots now. I hope they give me some more. Keep your skills up to date. Never! Oh, man. Oh, this is a filing nightmare. All clear, Estevez. Also, pretty much a nightmare for everyone who was alive in this office prior. Hey, how's that your leg? leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even Load worse. For you. But thanks for saving the rest of me. No problem. We should talk. About me joining the FBC? I'm prepared. Look at how angelic I am. Don't look at my service record. Don't. Don't look. So what, what happened? happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Uh, we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle real boondoggle the police my own agents almost were invaded before we could even what react what a boondoggle have you seen casey he's about this tall gorgeous cheekbones dances like an absolute cherry have you found my partner agent casey yeah we found him out in the woods he had it's a close okay. encounter with the shadow and it did something oh, to god. Him. is he okay oh god no he's alive we took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. He's alive down in the morgue? That that seems counterintuitive. Um, the FBC. Your jurisdiction here. Explain. What did the FBC come here to do? 
Bright Falls is the site of a recurring Going altered world event. The shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources. Problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We Save were just it. caught off guard before we could set it up. All right, and finally, where is Mr. Sc I mean, uh, Alan Where Wake? is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per <laughs> protocol. He's connected to the shadow in some way. All right, uh, thanks, Estevez. Do you have your keys on you? Could I gently frisk you for your keys? Not the leg area. I know that's tender. But your other pockets, your non-leg-based pockets, that makes it sound inappropriate. I'm sorry, Estevez. I'll let you frisk yourself for Estevez, the keys. I need to see Wake. Give them. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. Thank you. I knew there were going to be keys involved. I just didn't mean to harass you to the extent I did. Thank you for the keys. Mm, are you going to be back okay? Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. A moment ago, you were begging me for help with your leg, and now I've done nothing. Nothing to assist your leg, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave, and you're gonna lead out, I guess. Seriously, where's the gauze? I have like sixteen temp temp pads. No, I'm not watching Loki. Trauma pads. I have sixteen trauma pads. Would you like? I have an extra first aid kit that's literally just taking space that I need. So if you could take this off my hands, I'd be grateful. What a monster I am! Okay, I feel it deep in my bones. So that's where I need to go. Where else can I go? I hope there's no more big, tall, slender gentlemen. Oh no, I hope there aren't any slender gentlemen with hammers. Ooh, hello, sweetie. Daddy's home. All right, how do I get in there? Collect. Sure. Research proposal regarding Alan Wake and cult connections. A summary. In 2010, writer and suspected peri-utilitarian, what a mouthful, Alan Wake, was reported to have disappeared into Cauldron Lake, blub blub blub, a known threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of deaths found in the writing of Alan Wake. Interrogations with the murderers reveal they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult and considered his novels to be sacred texts. What a novel idea. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with this cult. At least there is no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was detained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake. That was a bit more of a passionate breath than I intended. <coughs> Went down the wrong tube. Um, this is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with a direct physical connection to Ellen Wake operating in the location he was last seen in. Now, I propose that this is not a coincidence, and would like permission to search for a link between Wake and the Cult of the Tree. See file 1454-5326 for the full proposal. I will take that file now. Thank you. Emergency Incident, The Lake House. Research Facility WA-03 at Cauldron Lake. WA has been compromised. Cauldron Lake, Washington, has been compromised. Cause unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont, heads of operations at the lake house. The facility itself is reported to be in a damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. 
A longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area requiring all available resources. <clears throat> Investigation and containment not possible with current personnel. Emergency dispatch of response and rescue staff is requested. The Investigations Department has no knowledge of the Lake House's recent research or projects due to worsening communication and cooperation since HQ went dark. As a result, this report cannot determine the incident's cause without further investigation. It's been, what, two years? I'm wondering if these... are some of these documents old? And referring to the HQ going dark two years ago. Or has HQ perhaps been dark for the last two years and FBC agents in the field have been operating without oversight this whole time? It somewhat frightens me to think that's the case, but at the same time, if Jesse Faden, as acting director, has caused it to go dark, there's a very good reason, and she has it well in hand. All right, we've got books, and we've got, don't forget, A equals one, B equals two, sure, cipher code, and then we've got Westmore, Batson, Quincy, Temp, and Essie. I'm guessing we'd go off of those rather than you, you, you. <laughs> Must be the author's names. And is it in the order... Um, as shown? Is it just WBQ? If it's a three-letter combination. Three-digit, rather. So WBQ. Um... Uh, yeah, uh, I'd have to solve for this. I equals 9, J equals 0, and then it cycles. Mm. Easily figured out, I'm sure, by someone who can retain information in their head for longer than a moment. I'm just going to bring up... I, I have a bookmark for a Caesar cipher uh, solver. I'm just going to use that instead. Because that's what the FBI would do. They would cheat. No, I'm sure, I'm sure the FBI would figure it out the appropriate way. So if it cycles after J... Mm, that means the J and U... Should be zero. Done. Q B W seven two three. Thanks, Caesar Cipher Solver. That's just what the FBI would do. <laughs> Laziness. I'm All right. sure Sheriff Drake wouldn't mind me borrowing this. I'm sure Tim wouldn't mind. Ooh, I just got an achievement for find all weapons for both characters. That must be my full arsenal, then. Do pardon. Okay, so do, do both of my shotguns take the same kind of ammo? Meaning I could perhaps give this one up for adoption. Seven shots? Yeah. Looks to be. So if I find a shoebox... I'm assuming this being found much later in the game is the ideal shotgun, and I should keep it on my person. I do love a sawn-off, though. Shame to give it up. All right, I'll be back for you, door. Is there perhaps a save, save opportunity in here? Or am I asking too much? Are you okay? Oh, you're gonna be fine. Walk it off. Hmm. Do these both lead down? Possibly. 
Are you sure you don't want one of my first aid kits? There must be an interact prompt here. For your poor portler, I could call someone for you? I could call doctors Quincy Batson or... That other guy, West... Westmoreland? Apparently not. And there is also no save. Okay, that's fine. Check the basement. Check the basement before it crashes on us. Do you read me, Anderson? I read you. Yep. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power oh, no. going again. Yeah. On it. Beginning to see dead FBC agents lying around is giving me real control nostalgia. Seems fewer of them were telekinetically thrown through glass in this neck of the woods. I wonder if there's any way to arrange that menu. To put my bolt cutter and screwdrivers at the very top. Screwdrivers, plural. Are you even holding out on me? There's another cult stash. Yes, this should be the final cult stash. If our calculations are correct, 1.21 gigawatts. Gigawatts. Okay. Um. Slash one. Triangle octagon. Slash one triangle octagon. Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense to me. I know just what to enter. Give me a moment. I'll be right there. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea what you want me to base that off of. I guess we're looking for some symbols. Elsewhere? Or else... Where? Symbols. Anybody got them? No. Estevez knows that medical assistance in this town means a trip to the morgue. She's good. She'll just hold it. Why did they put Alex Casey in the morgue? I'm so scared for him. The morgue was the only in-network provider of his health insurance. <laughs> Hello again! Nice to see you twice in one day. Welcome back. I cannot keep myself away from this blood-splattered opulescence. Ooh, I'll take it. Thanks. Right. Apparently that combination was a little easier to crack. They're giving me a lot of shotgun shells. That's... That's not good news. I'm scared. Shoebox. Alright. Let's put our sawed off away. Can I... Sugar sugar, just un unload those two? Real quick? Would you allow me to sugar sugar... So I don't, I don't have the room to put this away. Let's see what I can stack. What are my stackable opportunities? I haven't used any of those. These will stack. Yay! But that doesn't help me. <laughs> Maybe I should stack it the other direction. It is just two, so this will work. But it's not ideal. Put it here. both. Give me both, or I'll become quite upset with you. Alright, are you sure I can't get those last two shells? I'm really gonna need them. I promise you I'll need them. Okay, fine. Be that way. So, I still have not seen any symbols in the nearby... what we're looking for exactly. I don't want to progress too far to the point where I cannot get my final cult stash. That would upset me. I would be filled with tears. Look, look up. There you go. You figured it out. I don't 
know if this is solvable. If I should already know, based on this information, what uh, what digits they want from me. Maybe, maybe? Is it a matter of just number of lines? One, uh, one, two, three, four, and six? One, four, six? And do intersected lines create more? No, we'll try one, four, six first. Yay! Genius. Okay. That's new. Find all cult stashes and lunchboxes. Yes. Beware the cult of the tree. What is this? Lighthouse key. Ooh, we can go back there now. Finally. Okay, I'll, I'll take these, though that is, ooh, so much inventory space. Mm. All right, case closed. Let me quickly jump into my mind. Please follow me into the innermost recesses of my brain bits. And we will put this baby to bed. Shadow... Shadow Monster Light Ray 3000. This is a plan for the lighthouse? <laughs> of the little taken in the beam. <laughs> That's all okay. the ashes. I well hope we get to activate this. They also, like, throughout the game, they've hinted quite menacingly that the cult of the tree is spooky and bad and filled with evil, but it's like they kind of seem to know that Alan Wake is still in the dark place and the Alan Wake we have out here in the real world is to be killed immediately on sight. And they're developing weapons... To fight the Taken, I am kind of on their side. I think I finally found all the cult stashes in the area. There sure were a lot of these scattered around. So I guess I have to hope. Last time we went into the sheriff's station, we could not leave the street in front of it. So I don't think I can go to the lighthouse now. But I just have to hope that we can get back to the lighthouse after this mission. And that I was paranoid beforehand. Hopefully, this will do it. Lovely. Alright. That baby is sleeping. I would very much like to save it once more. Perhaps manually. Really cement that progress down. And into the morgue we go. Alex, I want you to hoot twice like an owl if you still have legs. If you don't still have legs, I want you to loudly scream, Ah, my fucking legs! That's a, that's a sort of code phrase, you see. I'll know what you mean by it. Give me! Give me this stuff! I'm so greedy. I'm filled with greed. Okay. I, I definitely don't need that crossbow bolt. And there might be something else worthwhile later. So one more trip to the shoebox. Which was right next to me the whole time. Alright. I can't fit it. Sure. Well, that makes sense. Oh well. It's fine. We have one slot remaining. Um... I can't put any of those in. Much to my chagrin. So, oh well. We'll roll with the punches. I should just start, you know, using consumable items is really the big problem. But you know me. I'm not gonna use any of my consumable items. <sighs> Alright, hey Casey. Is that you? Anderson? That Hold your fire! Much. I'm coming in! I'll be right there. Continue holding your fire until I get there. It's so messy. Casey, what have you done? What have you done with the place? 
This is no way to run a medical facility, Casey. Hunter's rifle ammo. Classic first aid item, that. In case you need to crack one open and pour gunpowder into your wounds. Which I know I do. It's the only way for me to feel like a man! <laughs> Toxic. Toxic behavior there. Um, I kinda just wanna drop that. Selfish? Selfish of me? Sure. You could make that case. Hold to discard. Alright. I'm gonna drop that so I have one free... one free slot. Thank you. Hmm. Nothing about this little cubby looks good. No. Hey, baby. I love you. I'm still curious about something in here, though. I'll be right back. Seems like there's another... another side section. But it just leads back to baby. Okay. We're fine. Uh, hold me in your loving arms. Get out of there. Hey, Anderson. Like Are you what always I wearing place? a suit? Hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <sighs> Funny. <laughs> Classic. Um, uh, are you okay? That is that is a priority of me to ask. But also, what's with the fucking suit? Why are you? Why did you change? How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just, a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice, chat about, ex wives with uh, Kieran. Good. Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? I see a sort of uncomfortable aura surrounding you, Casey. And I have my doubts as to the sanctity of your person. Profile him in a moment. Let's continue with the physical conversation first. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real oh, yeah. too. Startlingly saw so. It. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me. It knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I have a lot to tell you, meaning Alex Casey. I don't know if I have a lot to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and profile you first. As something about the way you are acting makes me quite scared, to be honest. I'd like to be honest about me being scared. I'm scared to be honest. Hey, tell me more about your I condition. Can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. Oh, no. A shadow crawling under my skin. It's not a flesh wound. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. I guess he maybe he just took his jacket off. He's scared. And he was wearing a three-piece suit underneath it? But I didn't think so. All right, tell me more about your imminent death, Casey. Oh, no new dialogue options about your imminent death? Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story's changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What do you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. You'd think so. For a long Would time. You? Because you've Casey's allowed the affected darkness by the horror story to too. in your heart. I'm fighting for them all now. Don't you worry, Casey. Pat, Pat. I'll 
Get your I'm going to fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. Well, I shouldn't promise that. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power Don't problem, talk like that. here, I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. You've had that I'll fuse take care of this it. whole time. And Stay we've been put, conversing Casey. in the darkness. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> maybe don't maybe don't crouch. If you're like actively bleeding out, I can't see your butthole right now, but if you're actively bleeding out of it, don't crouch. That's not a good position. To stench staunch the flow. The stench. <laughs> Never mind. Fuse time. Anderson, good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. All right. We've got light. And taken. Pick the door. So much nicer to have more shells in here. Come around. I can see your back. Whew. Time for a trauma pad. More coming down. Happily. Okay. Got more. I don't know why I'm so nervous about the left hand hallway. Everyone's coming out of here so far. Oh no, it's one of these! I don't appreciate these. Throw that at me. Don't you dare! Off of me. Whew. One Situation shotgun shell remains. Bez, coming back up. Copy. I'll wait here. Tell if it was popping just once every three minutes there. So, quick reset, just in case. All right, uh, since I've ruined my store of shotgun ammo, let's go hunting rifle for a minute. Not great on the health department. Another trauma pad it is. Maybe I can free up a little space from my shoebox that way. By being mortally injured. Still don't like anything about that cubby. Aha! Where's his... Ah! Uh, I hope that's one of the guys I shot downstairs. Or I'm scared to run into him later. Okay. I can free this up. And restore my... four-bandage situation. I could get rid of crossbow bolts, because I'm never going to use them. I'll use them eventually, just not now. Well, I don't have a crossbow. Good. Good. All right. Have a gulp of the bean juice, and we're on our way. Hello again. Welcome back. Welcome back for second stream. It's two stream Saturday. I don't know why I enjoy looking at their bloodied corpses. That's not... Anderson, that's not mentally healthy. What? 
Why are you dragging your bloody leg all over the place? Stay in one put. Stay put. In one place. Stay in one put. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Casey's weird. Got a little cramped in that I'm sure you noticed. Can the FBC send backup? Can the FBC send Jesse Faden right now? Is the That'd FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. Do you know? We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. I can't see it. So about that lake What's house, tell me lake more. House? It's a Bureau Research Facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is, it is lost, taken by the Shadow. Previously owned by Emil Hartman. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. The Lake Lodge? Is What's it? going on? I well, had a hell of a time avoiding those Taken. Ended up back here. Good job, Bandage. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the Cult of the Tree. Don't let your guard down. Wish me luck. According to the Luck and Probability Department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. Thanks for that. You're gonna always keep your horseshoes facing up. And your Maneki Neko cats actively waving. It's the only way to get a gilded blazer that'll knock and your socks lock right off. With no fail safe. Smart. I understand that there is a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest height tech top security nonsense? The stuff's not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. I've warned you about this half a dozen times now. Don't blame me when you're locked in with no way out. Officer James Cooper. Third Annual Community Outreach Barbecue. Delicious. Hey, gang. The annual event you've all been eagerly awaiting is upon us again. The Community Outreach Barbecue. Now, I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who jam ribs in their face like there's no tomorrow and are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts. Mm. Uh, and are more effective in their policing. <laughs> Just thinking about ribs, I don't know what I'm saying. And have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. Stop thinking about ribs. The community voted dunk tank victim this year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Thornton! Congratulations. It looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? Our friendly reminder that anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note or you'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies... Anyone who replies all to complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. <laughs> I can think of no worse punishment. Reminder. The front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs, hmm? Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Naughty magazines? Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? <laughs> yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late-night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. Yes. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. I know, I knew, Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective use of beard oil. Oh, sick burn. Kill the Joe, make some mo. <laughs> it's easy to remember and catchy. 
This is the third time this week that I come in for late shift, and there is no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything we did to upset you. I didn't wash my mugs, and I had my naughty magazines delivered here, and I'm sorry about everything. What are you climbing on? Get off the get off the furniture, Saga. This isn't the time for play. Mm. Cell doors are open. I guess there's no no real getting around it. Saga, fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin Looks everything. Like he has a warrior mustache in this light. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker. Yeah, I, I definitely will. No, I, like I also want to kill that. With, but you have no fucking idea. Let us out. You can't stop it. Go None ahead. of you can. Go ahead and explain it to me. I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. For this. You want to kill him because he's not the real Alan Wake. It would take so few, so few of our precious seconds for you to tell me, and then Saga would know. Saga would know why. We're all speculating out here on a meta level, but tell Saga. Alan? Where'd you go? Hey, my... Blood-soaked, sweetie? What are you, what are you doing? Did you kill a bunch of people? I'm not giving it to you. No. No! I do not have the clicker. You go ahead and rot in there with your gross pants. Do not trust. Need the key. These are not... Not the cell keys that are required? Then bolt cut it! Okay. Okay, wake. Wake. It's an insult to everything I believe in to call you, you there. You Logan into the story. Let's talk. You told me yourself. From the dark place. Listen! Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. May already be here. My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. No, I don't want to do this. No, please. There must be another avenue. I don't want to give the clicker to someone with such dirty pants. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! No, Saga, no. Kill more if you'd only been honest. He's a fucking monster, Saga! Look at There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice way to change. What can I do with that? Shit. If you're preparing to beat me about the head and face, I have to warn you. That I wouldn't appreciate that happening. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Plan is fucked. Nice to meet you. Come in. Scratches here. Seem to have an unbreakable darkness it? shield, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scratch, run. But the light array should affect him. How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on from here, but you need to prime the three power cores first. What? Glowing FBC three power cores? What kind of Nickelodeon game show is this? Yeah. Huh. Huh. I, I found the lights. Sometime. How do I activate Ouch. them? 
I can turn them on from here. But you need to prime the three power cores. I'll try. Get there. Ouch. I need more time. You'll never get the clicker from me. Do I throw bombs at you? Is that what we're talking? Bombs? Give me more time. I beg of you. I've lit it on fire. <laughs> Going well. That's it. There must be distract him there. somehow. Let's try. Please. Do equip it and then dodge. I was hoping that first press would do it. I'm very low on health. We're gonna wanna try this again from the top. It seems to keep him stunned up real nice. I wanna be safe here. Let me be safe here. Oh. All for the best, to start that over. Well, here we are. We tried our best to warn Saga about what was going to happen. Don't fucking give it to him! He's a fucking monster, Saga! I'm really sad about Yako, but that jacket looks there wonderful on Mr. Scratch. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking destroy you! Yeah. Oh, you know. Stuck there with his brother's blood face. Haul uh -huh. ass. I'm sure I won't be able to get even one without stunning him, but we'll try it. He was pretending to be Wade. The plan is fucked. These must power the light away. Ouch. I need to find more. My back. Alright, so I need a flare. Need to equip it faster than I did last time. Got one. These babies are mine. Oh, my ass. Another flare. Dude, I did ignite it, I promise. I promise you. Doesn't seem to have as much of a stunning effect as one might hope. So if I only have the one rocket flare. Hmm. Let's rip on flashbangs. The crying shame of it is I don't have a save, like before he attacks me. Oh come on! You should have been getting banged. All right. Yes, I need to figure out what's in this. Ouch! <laughs> There's a toolbox over there that perhaps has more rocket flares. Rocket flares seem to be the ticket. I wish I could get more of them. I mean, there's nothing stopping us from going back to our old quick save. And then we could we could prepare a bit for this. Let's try that. Cause ooh, only the one rocket flare. Not not going well. What an awesome little sequence this is, though. Ah, okay, foolish. Foolish of me to think that you would allow that kind of behavior. Was it really 14 minutes ago? <sighs> okay. We'll try it. 14 minutes ago? That's, that's an eternity in dog years. I thought my owner was dead. I was fairly certain of it. No, don't, don't manual save. Get away from the coffee thermos and then look at your inventory. 
So I have three open slots. It's one per slot. I've got so, so many. There are three generators. So let's take four. In case I miss. Or act foolishly. And then I'm hoping it will also let me quick slot them. Would help dearly. And if I quick slot one of them, will others fill in? Or will it not let me? I forget. Probably just have to be in my actual inventory to do it. There you go. Alright, um... I gotta put my shotgun up there, too. I got rid of that shotgun. That would be a shame. Uh, put this one here. Yeah. Beautiful. Alright. We're quick-slotted. We have more rockets. Let's do this thing. Really no sense in even having a gun for this. I should save it again. Mm, that was almost foolish. Almost had to do all of that twice. Or more. Alright. We're quick-saved. I'm so glad you guys are here for this. Finally making story progress. I apologize for the slight drag of the collectathon. Anderson, over here. Hell Behind of the a time. counter. Got a little cramped in that closet. Well, you've fused your injured leg with the armrest. Is that is that is medically the sound? Sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at right. the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. What's going on? I had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. All right. In we go. We're ready. We've got Saga. rocket flares. It's all gonna be fine. Fucking FBI, FBI, CU, so government, fine. fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. We're gonna ruin everything. Ooh. Get rid of him, Saga. Glad we came back. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him. That fucker. You come to our town and act like you know here. what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea. Like a belt. Let us out. You can't stop it. None of you can. We can take care of this. We've been preparing Throw one for of your this. Boots. Threw the bars at him. Try to try to bludgeon him to death with your boots. What have we here? Sheriff station attacked. Doesn't seem to want to Agent take me Young held his clipboard to up it to anymore. The, the equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. Like the first time they the mentioned local it. sheriff station was My a tight name. fit, but at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time, he turned, hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, 
the screams began. Hmm. All right, it's time. I'm really sorry about this, Yako. I love you. And I wish for you nothing but the best. In whatever afterlife you choose to believe in. Oh, hey, dirt pants. Saga. What you doing? You, have it? you wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself. From the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's shining close. a flashlight right he's in your almost eyes. Here. He's My daughter I'm is not going to apologize this time. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I have the clicker. Okay. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Here we go. Don't fucking give it to him! It's Scratch. He was pretending to be weak. There's a button to, to quick turn. Is fucked. I don't the best what it is. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit is in prep. The light array should affect him. Fuck. How do I activate the lights? I can turn them on from here. But you have to find the screen power. Hold still. Another core activated. Only one left. Do you What, uh, what unfortunate timing. That was going so well. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll be right back. Let's hope it quick saved it at that cutscene again with all of our flares intact. We'll see. Wow, rude. <laughs> it's been a while. Since we had a crash, it was past due, I suppose. Okay, good. We're right back in it. It's scratched. Have to not miss those first two again. To be awake. The plan is so react. Come in. Go. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit is in but the light array should affect him. I don't think I have time to get a second How do I activate the lights? Before right, he gets his teleports back. Another core activated. Only one left. Doing great. Alright. Get your teleports back, you big silly. Ta-da! Question. I still have the clicker, right? She didn't, like, give it to him. Otherwise, I doubt he would be chasing me. We'd all be dead already. Wake attacked. Or w wake attacked. Where do I put that? Ooh, huh. Does Casey feel any better when Mr. Scratch is gone? Or is he going to still be all ouchy about it? Don't need to go over all this again. Good, good. I was apparently supposed to be placing most of those while I was moving through the station. I have to remember to get to the lighthouse, too, if I have the opportunity. Not sure if I do. We'll see. Um, need power to disengage the locks. Fuse in the basement. Apparently I missed something there. 
Scratch tried to take the clicker. Has Scratch been pretending to be Wake this whole time? Where is the real Alan Wake? Exquisite question you formulated for yourself there. Let's think about it. Wake has been contacting me from the dark okay. place. He has never left. I assumed something strange was happening with time, but what if it's simpler than that? Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake the Clicker. Nice. Their goals were the same. Could mean Scratch and Wake are one and the same, or is it just a coincidence? Still don't have access to those. All right, Casey, how are you feeling? Scratch is Wake's good? double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. But he did. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. <laughs> you said it, Anderson. She just loves saying boondoggle. Shot. So what's the plan? I mean, the way you're dressed, I, I guess we go out disco dancing. Look at them shiny shoes. Mmm, I can't wait to be on your arm. Thoughts, Estevez, about how handsome The FBC Sam usually oh. handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I yeah. could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? I mean, okay. Sure. I'm... Yep, yeah. The horror story's changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here. Even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter... Your kid might be fine. We're gonna make sure it's the latter. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here yes. to keep the files. Happy rest. Oh, okay. sweet. Um, this is all I've ever thanks. wanted. Go team. Yoink, thank you, Estevez. All righty. Hey, did you forget everything? Like, did you forget that we're colleagues and maybe, maybe you want to start a fling? You, you really forget? don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and, and then, uh, then Did we Logan... just? Well, that awful thing happened. I think Casey's getting his memory After you back. came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that My deepest said, fear. How do we know I'm the, the story one being affected by the story? Giving you false hope. I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always scratch. Well, let's see, shall we? I'll just put my psychic brain to use. Hey, by the way, 
I know it's been like five minutes since we were talking. The whole thing is a nightmare. One more thing. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex Especially that last one. It. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. They had a whole conversation about this that I wish I was privy to. Wish you guys had waited to discuss your exes. Because I'm so curious. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. All right. So, I've got a little profiling to do. Let's see what we can suss out. And hello, it's so nice to see you there. Mr. Hirschman. Um, a profiling. To the table, where I perform my psychic feats. Psychic feats? Weird that they're involved. Wake first. Trapped in the dark place. Send me a message. Send me a message, you handsome ghost. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. It's not Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. And our dear friend, Mr. Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating. Let's try not to psychically connect to him too hard. Just a me? little. No, I'm in control here. It's my Damn mind it. place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. Okay. Got an FPC file. Linking cult activity to wake. There's the one. It's possible Wake is connected to the cult, but if Scratch is identical to Wake, then this could refer to either of them. The FPC brought powerful light arrays to subdue the Taken. Light? Sure. Sweet. The Dark Presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. You're damn right it is. Looks like the FBC is also aware of the Dark Presence's weakness. Not yet. No, you be patient. Alright, Wake is trapped in the Dark Place. Where is Wake? Nope, try that again. Where is Wake? Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Has he been there the entire time? He's definitely there now. How to rescue Wake? The thing that attacked Casey had Wake's face. There was never any Wake. It was scratched the entire time. Casey thinks Wake is Scratch, and always has been. It's certainly possible. Alright. I think we're good for now. So, uh, key to the FBC file room. Where? Uh, where? Estevez, I beg of you, show me the... Ilmo. Hey. I'm real sorry. 
Oh, I'm so sorry about Yako. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yako was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. Can I... Can I offer you a tissue for your face? It's just... You're covered in... I never realize mind. it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect water in Bright Falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. So, uh, how long have you been... Uh, how long has this? the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just named it half the work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake. That's very interesting. And monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. I'm so, so worried. <laughs> Give him some time. Give him some time alone, would you? Stop peeking around the door frames. Um, I'm scared that Alan Wake <sighs> has never been worth saving. And I hope it's not the case. But we're not really going to know until it's too late, one way or the other. Ilmo has never heard of Scratch. Exactly sure why that would be the case. Why do they want to kill Wake? Because they've never heard of Scratch. Um, working for someone? They're not working for Mr. Scratch, to their knowledge. The cult wasn't working for, with Alan Wake or Mr. Scratch. They were operating on their own. The cult found Wake's pages inside Taken and believed he was the cause. Cult thinks that Wake is responsible for taking. Taken. Stop taking and believe that killing him will stop this. I can't exactly fault their logic here. Yeah. The cult of the tree targeted people already corrupted by the Dark Presence. Their goal was to protect the community. Their goal. We have a deduction available. The ritual was meant to destroy Taken, not to create them. Yeah, yeah. All right. Still missing quite a bit of information. But we'll fill in our mind. Still not accessible here. There, same story. About Wake and the Clicker. Nothing there. 
bit of a misnomer, that yellow dot. Alright, do we have more profiling? I thought something came up during our conversation with Ilmo. Yes. The cost killers. Killing Ilmo Taken. Said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Hello, hello. Nice to see you there. By the bulk. We've got a floater. A Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Ilmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. The Night Nightingale if came the cult back. Is killing Taken. Then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Alright. Got something new from that. Nightingale was already taken. The cult's ritual would have stopped him, but was interrupted. Nightingale's ritual was the only one interrupted. That's why he was the only taken among the cult's victims. Alright, position myself back by the map. And boop boop. We're in the real world. God, it is hard to exist. Ah, the searing pain of it all, Ilmo. Hold me. Hold me. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Ilmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you. Hell yeah, we will. Seal it with a kiss? No, you're covered in your brother's blood? Okay, good good reason not to kiss. Good reason. So the cold of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. Yeah. You could say that. How are you dealing with Christmas music being played everywhere? I try not to leave the house. I have not left the house in, oh, years now. Years. Unless I'm playing with squirrels. So there's no Christmas music here. There's no Xmas round these parts. Not when we're still so close to dear Jack Skellington time. I can't wait to put this case behind us. That's a lie. I want this case to continue. I mean, despite all the people being hurt and killed, I could just, I could live here with you folks forever. And I'm sure it's gonna end real poorly. So the, the sooner we get to the end, the sooner we're all just going to be filled with tears. And not we have a lot of catching eyes. up to do after this thing is all over. What? Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. All right, seriously, you guys get some medical attention, all right? Stop just, like, being cool about it. You're both cool. You're so cool. Now find a doctor. I gotta go. Where are the FBC's files? Ah! Shadowy figures in the night wearing hats. Grotesque hats. I don't want to leave if the FBC records are here. And I don't know if they are. 
Was there like one more door downstairs we never had a key for? Because that would be the one, if so. Let's check downstairs real quick. There's also a coffee thermos down here. Though, there's one upstairs now, too. Thanks to Casey. I probably should have come here immediately after she told me where it was. But no. It's just a normal evidence locker. I thought there was like one more door I couldn't open, but I must be misremembering. Gonna need more sheets. Doesn't really seem like they put important FBC files in the morgue. But I don't know. I don't know their processes. Hello, hello. Nice to see you there. Welcome back. Checking the map. Have I not been to a specific room full of files? Evidence room. We've been in there. This must be it. It's inside the jail cells. Okay. That makes sense. And I do vaguely remember now there being a locked door. It is so nice to see you. One more sip of coffee in-game, and one more sip of coffee in the real world. From the aforementioned cup. You have redeemed a color change. That means you can pick any color, effectively. Except for perhaps some of the rarer ones, and I will change to it. We've got red. We've got green. We've got blue. We've got subsets of that. <laughs> Orange, purple, pink, lighter blue. Pink. Lovely choice. Eh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Sorry, I'm posing. Couldn't help myself. Exquisite color. All right, so, other side of the... Ah, so much... So much federal blood in here. Oh, oh God, my boots. Mm, other side of the building. We go in here. And, ooh, we get access to sweet, sweet files. Mm, let me in. Tell me everything. Start at the beginning. Transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected para-utilitarian, Bright Falls, Washington, interviewer Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Mr. Wake, you have been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. There is a force here you don't understand. A, a presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me, consume everything. Ah, yes. You mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? It feeds on artists, on the art they create. I'm making Alan very dramatic. It wants me because of my writing, but it can be any form of art, any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography, it can feed on any of it, all of it. You have to believe me. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We have been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey. Make a note to redact that before submission, hmm? Uh, let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? I don't know, but I need it! <laughs> a little less dramatic. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? 
Mr. Wake, you are in custody, pending charges for breaching of numerous federal violation codes. We are not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. You're not expletive listening to me. We are listening, and there's no need for that kind of language. Now, uh, do you have any accomplices? Peter, I have been trying to watch your videos, but could you just summarize all of the game up until now, please? <laughs> um, let's see. How to summarize the last 14 years of my life. <laughs> uh, expletive you. Let me the expletive out of here. It's coming for me. We are all in danger. Interview was terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Permission to treat the witness as hostile and blow a flare right into his bread basket. So, the the game up till now. Um, in the year 2010, a paranatural disturbance, altered world event, occurred in Bright Falls, Washington, while a writer, Alan Wake, bestseller of crime novels, pulpy, delicious crime fiction, was staying in town with his wife, Alice. Um, they stayed on a cabin in the middle of a lake called Cauldron Lake, and while just frolicking about in their underoos one day, Alice fell into the lake, and Alan dived after her. And Alice, if I'm remembering this correctly, kind of died, and Alan decided to write the story, being whispered to by a dark presence in the lake, decided to write a story where she did not die, and was instead just fine. But what he did not know is that the dark presence that lived inside this lake would alter the story like a malevolent editor as he wrote it and changed it so that the dark presence would be released from the lake upon the town of Bright Falls, Washington, and later the world. Not wanting this to happen, Alan Wake spent the week of the story that he had written while he was below the waters of the lake trying to rewrite the tale on the fly as it unfolded so that the dark presence would not be released. And eventually he was semi-successful in doing so, by creating a paranatural object of power called the Clicker to seal the darkness away by blasting it with light from the inside. Click, click! Ah, my inside! However, oh no! Alan Wake was trapped forever beneath the waters of Cauldron Lake in the dark place, which may be like a, a parallel dimension to ours, and not just like the, the deepest part of the lake. I, th I think he's traveling to a different place entirely, where nothing really exists except that which is in his mind, that which he conjures. And that all happened in 2010. That's not important. Then there was two other games, which we won't go into here, <laughs> but are also integral to the plot. And now, it is the year 2023, and Alan Wake has burst onto the shores of Cauldron Lake, after a ritual was performed by FBI agent Saga Anderson, which seems to have lessened the water level of the lake, allowing Wake to briefly escape. However, there is a cult wandering the woods, the cult of the tree, and they pursue Alan Wake, quote-unquote Alan Wake, through the trees, attempting to stab him, stab him in the butt cheeks. It doesn't work. And instead, they are, all of them, the cult members and Alan Wake, uh, kidnapped. <laughs> Though they don't call it that when you're the government. They were kidnapped by the government, by the Federal Bureau of Control, and put in this jail cell here right next to where I'm standing. Um, when we came back to try to uh, give the clicker which was the paranatural object Alan Wake created in the first game, back to him so that he could once again have the power to bring light to the darkness of this story, um, he turned into Mr. Scratch. And he was maybe Mr. Scratch the entire time, and maybe there has never really been two, two entities. 
I kind of skipped out on the Mr. Scratch bit in the first, but there's, there's three games <laughs> that are important in between the first and second game. And now we're all dealing with the consequences and the fallout of the betrayal. And Saga still has the clicker, and maybe it'll help, but maybe it's long since lost its power. And we're just fumbling around in the darkness. <laughs> it's the, the worst, most rapid recap of, of current events, and there's so many things missing that are quite desperately important. We need another musical sequence. It's true. That's the quickest way to get caught up. <laughs> Wake isn't uh, the first person here? the Dark so Presence disguised itself as. No, it sure isn't. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE 35, additional details regarding the Shadow have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE, there's too much air in me, pardon me, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress, was she? and Bright Falls resident, who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are A. The shadow can only manifest as artists, or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art, who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained, definition needed, within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. Mm hmm. No, it sure is actively ongoing. More, more government documents, more bureaucracy. Is a yes. To the dark place. I will eat it up with a spoon. Deployment utters. I mean order. Urgent situation. At approximately nineteen hundred hours on the thirteenth of thirteenth of September, twenty twenty three. Readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what researchers theorize is the origin dimension of A-040, the shadow, past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC Research Facility WA-03, codename The Lake House, were unsuccessful. On-site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead Agent K. Estevez will mobilize Investigation Unit Beta from the remote operations site at Redacted. All available Shadow-specific equipment, Lot 4-11B, has been approved for use in the field. Objectives. To confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatched team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no event is active, just have a cake! Come on back whenever you want. Think of it as a vacation. Uh, uh, check monitoring equipment. Perform a limited profile sweep of the area and check the status of the lake house and its staff. Additional information. Relevant operatives in the area include the Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. Who has been redacted from this? I need to know more about these what deployment the others. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? <laughs> What's a para-utilitarian? You silly goose. Based on the reports. The item is a light switch from a lamp cord with part of the severed cord still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality, the changes being based on redacted when used by a capable peri-utilitarian. Parsing this item's effect from that of the Cauldron Lake Threshold responsible for recurring AWEs in the area is difficult. Pardon me because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa, or if there is no connection whatsoever. 
recorded material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a redacted have revealed that Alan... An asshole? No, I don't think that's what it is. Have revealed that Alan Wake <laughs> eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely by... likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking it. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality, see file AWE35, however it is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Getting dry as a bone up in here. Conclusion. The light switch is a possible object of power, but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on second-hand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. God, I love being back in this... This world of redacted... <laughs> bureaucratic identification of... Gorgeous supernatural phenomena. What a treat it is to see the world through that lens. Alan, why were you... Why were you... Mm, I'm not even going to say what it is you were doing. Oh, they really cleaned up Yakuza's blood quickly. It was, it was everywhere a minute ago. All right, I would sp I would happily spend all day reading FBC documentation if they would let me. Do I need to check in? I learned things from your files. Do you want to discuss them with me? No, you're in too much pain. Okay. Got it. Got it. I guess we're out into the world of creepy hats then. I don't want to go out there. Oh god, the hats. It's so creepy in the way that he's hunched over, just waiting. Oh, once you get out here, I'm gonna have my way with you. What? What do you mean by that? What is your way? Anybody seen hey. one of like emotionals about? Who knows? If it's oh, not one just, thing, it's the other. Just innocent men. I got the Coscula brothers locked nice. up in there. I saw I was them worried. go in earlier. Oh, just dear. normal men. Probably got just them, innocent but men. What to poor Mocha the most? Mm. <laughs> yes, that's that's what happened. The same thing that happened to Mocha the Moose is what happened in there. It was just a uh, overdose of caffeine. Heart palpitations went flying. And like we're all good now. All right. So, where am I supposed to check in next as Saga? Is, I guess, my question. Look at my goals menu. Come up with a new plan! Alright. <laughs> I'll just... I'll just come up with a new plan. Then. Sure. A little bit of vagary never hurt. Let me go back to Elderwood. First. And if it allows me to use the car, maybe we can briefly go to... What the heck was that about? Can anybody Watery? And check the lighthouse. Are for goodies. There? Every time something exciting happens in this town, I miss it. Hey, you're... You're getting quite wet. Are you looking for your umbrella? Is it in your other pants, perchance? Is it in your other perchance? That's... That's normal human behavior, sure. To crouch like a... Coiled mongoose? Ready to bite? Hey, let me... let me in. I love that note. Alright. Check this door one more time. It's not opening. Oh, come on! FBI! Okay, to the Elderwood. We have all of our lunch boxes, all of our cult stashes. I think the only thing we might be missing are manuscript pages of note. And maybe, since we defeated Scratch, this one that's been hovering on our map will finally be visible. 
And so it be. Yes, I'm about to come up with a new plan. This diner is from the first game, yeah, yes. The old dear diner. Classic territory. The cult finds the clicker. Do they? I have the clicker. I'll After give that getting back. his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalin knew what he was up against. What? He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalis sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. I very much want to know the exact timeline of that. Okay. So we got a page. Can we get to Watery? Seemingly so. So save it first, just in case. Uh, I think he may be their right. brawlies. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think. Uh. Hi, we're amateurs. We're gonna make TikToks about the dark presence. Go home. <laughs> this is not the time. Leave this to the seasoned federal professionals who have no idea what the hell they're doing. Quick save. Perhaps the come up with a new plan means I just need to switch to Alan at this point. Perhaps. Did I say perhaps already? It's just perhaps. All right, so before I switch to Alan, I am going to go see what's awaiting me in the lighthouse. To Watery! I still love that town name so very much. And while we're here, I mean, it's late, it's rainy, I need to touch a dog. I'm gonna go say hello to the mayor. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? That's a bear. Stop it. You cannot pet that dog. And now, the sheriff station? Hey, buddy. You hear? hear what? Mm. They up that crime right Can I hug that dog? And then, they find him, and boom, all hell breaks loose. I love you. The FBI. Famous writers. Ugh. They're all bad luck, if you ask me. Fair enough. Hurts my feelings to overhear you talking about me that way. Anyway, see you later. <sighs> Quick save it in watery. Eh? Should the worst happen to my legs and back. By, by which I mean crunching. Like, physical crunchy abuse. Not, not what you were thinking. Hello? Is this no time to stand literally in the middle of the oncoming side of the road and smoke while facing the opposite direction? Shh, you don't care. You're a rebel. My legs, my back, and the rest of me. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. I cannot imagine they're going to let us get away with this unscathed. So let's be prepared for anything. We should still have one rocket flare equipped. And so we do. Not a lot of shotgun ammo, though. Maybe the massive store of containers inside the lighthouse will fix that problem for us. I hope it's just shotgun ammo. I go into the end game sequence with like 200 shells. Ah, oh, you messed with the wrong FBI agent, motherfuckers! I'm sure that 
that's not quite what they're going for for the end sequence. Just turn you into Rambo. A peaceful hike so far, which only makes me more scared. Here we go. We got paint thinner. I knew it. I fucking called it. Yummy. Shells. Let's immediately get those inside this bad boy. And hey, look who found blueprints for a giant taken killer. Don't need one of those, apparently. I'm full. I'm so full right now. You wouldn't even wouldn't even believe it. How full I am. Manuscript page. Ilmo Koskal had jolted awake from a nightmare. He was drenched in sweat. In the dream, he'd been covered in blood, gleefully murdering people, his friends. When his twin brother had tried to talk sense into him, he had murdered Yako as well. Oh no. Ilmo slammed his fist into his temple so hard it hurt. The dream made him feel sick. The dark force of the lake was growing stronger. It was trying to make Ilmo and Yako something they were not. Trying to turn them into Ilmari and Yakopi Huatari from the early days of Watery. But they were the Koskala brothers. Their mother had not raised them to become murderers. They had backbone. They had honor. They had finished Zisu. Something bad was coming. Hell yeah. The hidden device they had hooked to the FBC station had been intercepting alarms like crazy the past few days. Ilmo would make sure his cult was ready for war. Out in the night, the story seeking to give birth to an overlap in water, he drifted on, looking for another pair of men more prone to corruption. It just keeps... it keeps spreading. Like multiple coffee stains across what was once a beautiful watercolor image. We'll find another set of Koskala brothers. We'll find another Huatari. We'll find a Thomas Zane. How can it ever be... ...contained? Sweet. There's my final inventory thing. I'll take it. I won't question a thing. I will just take it. Cult of the Tree is born. You said you want to say all of this in uh, Ilmo's voice. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. <laughs> the They're too old to fight monsters. The torchbearers are done. We need something new. Ilmo took a long drag from the joint and handed it to his brother. They've been drinking and smoking all night. That thing from the lake was not a man, and the government's trying to hide it. Ilmo gestured at the files they had stolen from the research station. A strange seal with an upside-down pyramid. The Federal Bureau of Control. We need to keep the feds away. It's Deal with us our way. FBC we need an army of our own. Yako smiled. Some he loved to watch his brother come up with his ideas. Ilmo's gaze swam. It was seeing double. The pyramid on the folder was a Profoundly. spruce tree. A tree, he thought. A fucking tree. It was a oh sign. God, I'm so excited right We'll now. make the woods scary again. <sighs> so fucking scary, no one will set foot in them at night. That's how we'll keep people safe. We'll be a legend. We are the cult of the tree, and we watch in the night. We're gonna need scary masks. Energized, Yako chugged a bottle of Ama beer in one go. What a privilege it is to see it all come around and round. Okay. We got goodies. Uh, show me the blueprints. I don't care for you! I'm sorry, that was rude. I love you. Stay warm. This has got to be an Ilmo idea. <laughs> Mirrors. Draw light from the main light thing. You know. Generators. And then a satellite dish? A satellite dish. Now that's an interesting... pull. 
from the American Nightmare era. Shadow Monster Light Ray 3000. I'm gonna need to take these with me. This, this is federal property now, and a damn fine idea. Please? Please let me take it? Okay, fine. It's their intellectual property. They can keep it. Well, I guess I do have the inventory space for it now. I may as well. I'll take everything I can get. Somebody's cask of amontillado'd in here. I can smell them. I can smell the decomposing butt cheeks. Mm, why am I hungry? Why does that... What's wrong with me that that makes me... <sighs> so hungry, I'm just a little peckish. Peckish for cheeks, that's all. Nothing wrong with me. Nothing wrong with me, I'm just peckish for cheeks. <laughs> I think we can all agree, there's something deeply, deeply wrong. Yes, do. Do move them. I'm gonna take one more rocket flare with me. No, put that, you put that back. Put that back where it came from, or so help me. I wish that I didn't have to waste a whole other slot on this, but so it is. And so it be. I have plenty of flares. I could leave two of these, but at this point, inventory space inside my shoebox is as much of a problem as anything. Okay. We're good. Let's manual save it. And I think we're ready to switch back. However, there is no janitor's bucket here, so we'll have to go find one. Nice little, I guess, just before the end game top off for you in the lighthouse. It's very generous of them. Completely optional, just if you're a hoarder and desperately worried about living. I think there's a janitor's bucket behind our dear doggo friend. Let's go provide him with one more thoughtful, heartfelt forehead smooch. And then it's Allen time, baby! I don't know why I said it that way. And I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize, baby! No, now you've... You've doubled down... But we are at just about two hours. So it's probably a good time to stop for the day and pick up with Alan tomorrow. There's a lot of good folk in that town. A lot of friendly folk. And it used to be such a nice, quiet place, too. Like water. Of course, a certain people came to town. All right. Just in case it goes horribly wrong, and take me to Alan! Don't show me his grotesque face, as you do. I haven't the heart for it. Ah, oh, but what did I ask? I had one request. I knew it was gonna happen. I set them up for failure. What a privilege it is to play with you. I'm so happy, like, we have 37 hours into this game. As much as I absolutely adore the first game, it's like 10, 10 hours. If you stretch it, like delicious taffy. So being able to spend almost 40 hours in the world, though admittedly that's just because of how many times I've died, has been a treat. And I'm so grateful. So... I will have to answer the telephone as our dear friend Alan to begin the next chapter of things, and hopefully that will lead me to making contact with Saga again in order to provide her with instructions for the next phase. Mr. Scratch is out there. He's hideous, and his pants are so, so dirty. So we're gonna have to put a stop to that and take him to the cleaners. 
can't wait. Thank you for your time. I hope you have a lovely evening. The swelling of the music makes me feel like I'm to be stabbed in the kidneys. It's a shame I didn't have the genetic predisposition to grow adult knees. What are you doing to that no crossing sign? I don't appreciate it. What a pleasure. I will see you soonish here in the rain soaked city streets of the dark place. Much love. Bye for now.